All right, let's look at backpropagation uh, with this particular network. So we've got two inputs. First layer has size one, second layer has size three, third layer has size two, fourth layer has size one. The activation functions are all ReLU, 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 except the last is a sigmoid. Our input is three, five, and these are all the weight matrices and bias matrices. So in order to do backpropagation, the first thing we actually need to do is forward propagation. So let's just kind of go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say uh, A0 is just the same thing as x. So that's equal 3, 5. When we now want to compute z at 1, that is just equal a at 0 times w at 1 plus b at 1. And that is equal to 3, 5 times w1, which is 4, negative 2, plus b1, which is negative 1. And that equals 3 times 4 is 12, plus 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, so that's 2 plus negative 1 is 1. And now we can apply the ReLU function. So that is g at 1 of z at 1, and that equals 1. Okay, because 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Now we can go through and do this some more. So we can say z at 2 is going to equal a to 1, which is 1, times w at 2, which is negative 5, 2, 1, plus 0, 0, 0. So that's going to equal negative 5, 2, 1. And then a at 2 is going to equal the ReLU of this, which equals 0 to 1. Right? So negative 5 is less than 0, so that's going to be taken to 0. 2 and 1 gets left alone. z at 3 equals, so 0 to 1 times this array here, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, plus negative 1, negative 1. So that's equal 0, 2, plus 1 is 3, plus negative 1 is 2, and then 0 times 2 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, so that's 4 plus negative 1 is 3. And then a at 3 is just the ReLU, which equals 2, 3. And then finally, our last one, we have, we'll just put it down here, z super 4 equals this array times this one plus the negative 13, and that equals 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 times 3 is 9, so that's 13 plus negative 13 equals 0. That's handy because we know that a at 4 equals sigmoid of 0, and we can calculate that by hand as just equals 1 half. So we've done all our forward pass. We should also uh, point out, in order to do this, what else do we need to know? We need to know that the loss function equals the binary cross entropy. And we also need to know that y equals. So now we've done the forward half. Uh, 